We're going to take you live now, uh, I think, to Queen's Park, or actually to Cam Inch, where Premier Doug uh, Ford Mr. is Jones, making Minister an Sarma investment announcement. And, Let's listen uh, in. Minister Tobolo, but I do want to acknowledge Dr. Zahn. Uh, what an incredible job you've done at health. And, and uh, one of my right-hand people that I said for four years, Christine Elliott, what a true leader you've been throughout the, the pandemic. And, and Sylvia, you, you've, you've filled those shoes. You've done an incredible job. And, uh, and uh, as well as uh, Kinga on infrastructure. Uh, you know, you, you, see, you see what I've done here. There's a pattern. I surround myself with strong, super bright women that, uh, and they gotta be strong to keep me in line. And Michael, hold on, I'm not leaving Michael out. He's getting a little go for him. But uh, Michael, you've done an incredible job, I always say, when it comes to mental health. Uh, you are the brightest person down at Queen's Park. I know you're, you're going back for your doctorate and quite a few things. So th thank you for always leading the charge and being so passionate. And people don't realize, I know uh, Sylvia and, and Christine and, and uh, Kinga, you see how far Michael travels. He goes to the furthest north uh, regions of our, of our province to talk to our First Nations community. And, and thank you. You must be on the two million mile club because you, you travel everywhere. And thank you for doing the great work. But before I begin, I also want to give a big uh, thank you again to you, uh, Sarah and Aristotle. And I, I told Aristotle I'd love that name. It's, it's, it's just incredible. And uh, of course, uh, the leader, Dr. Wilkie, and thank you for all the great work that you're doing and the, and the whole team here at CAMH for hosting us today. And for the incredible work you're doing here every single day in, in research and in teaching and providing outstanding care to more than 38,000 patients every single year. You think of that number, 38,000, it's absolutely amazing. I also want to give a big shout out to all the donors here today. Thank you for your kindness, your generosity, because this wouldn't happen without the, the philanthropy and the generosity that uh, each and every one of you have shown, and we're very, very grateful. And we're so pleased to join all of you to break ground on the two, I mean, I can't even wipe the smile off my face, it's on the two new buildings here at Queen Street West uh, campus. These new state-of-the-art buildings, this expansion is a major step forward in improving mental health care here in Toronto and throughout our province. When complete, the Discovery Centre will bring together all CAMHS uh, research services into one centralized location. It will advance current research and support new discoveries and developments that will help those living with mental illness. The second facility, the seven-story Secure Care and Recovery Building, will add 214 new beds, and they're needed, the 214 beds, for uh, patients with complex mental illness who are under court-ordered care. It will include space for therapeutic and recreational programs, connecting some of our most vulnerable patients to high quality mental health supports that meet their unique needs. And friends, our government is pleased to support the construction of these buildings with a capital uh, investment of over $1.6 billion dollars. And don't worry about the noise. I'm used to getting noise from the other side of the legislature, so I can, I can focus on this. <laughs> it's, uh, with, with this historic investment, our government is delivering on our promise to connect more people with convenient health care closer to home. We're investing $50 billion, just think of that, $50 billion over 10 years to support more than 50 new hospitals or hospital expansions. And I always tell people, no matter where you are in the province, you're either getting a brand new hospital or you're getting a massive expansion of a hospital. And we've never seen this ever, and not just in Ontario, but across the country. We're investing an additional $4 billion to better connect people to mental health services because mental health is health. This investment includes new funding to connect children and youth to mental health supports, including expanded text, talk, and online services. We're enhancing care for anxiety and depression. We're providing more supportive housing and services for people living with mental health and addiction challenges. And we're connecting more first responders to mental health supports they need. 
We're treating mental health with the seriousness it deserves. I want to thank you again to everyone at CAMH for inviting me here for this special announcement. I can't wait to uh, come back for the official opening. And, and thank you all, and may God bless the people of Ontario. Thank you so much. Okay, we just heard from Premier it's Doug Ford my, my making a $1.6 billion dollar uh, announcement of money going into two new buildings at CAMH along Queen Street West. We'll be following this story more throughout the day.